Hi, this is Srinivas Tamada, founder of Nylensin.info. This video is about how to set up a Google Cloud VM instance. Like Google is offering a free uh, time of one year with $300 uh, credit, like you can try all the services. They are offering a lot of services like uh, Amazon. Most of the companies are moving from Amazon to cloud. You can look at this article and you will see the steps and how to get the $300 credit. If you are working for a side project and the best, uh, you know, instance you can try uh, and even I covered for AWS uh, EC2 instance as well from long time back. So yeah, it's a pretty uh, simple steps to follow and uh, I'll try to install a XAM PHP server. So meanwhile, like, you know, us getting a $300 credit is like Google Cloud as you can search for $300 and you will get a link like this it's like 12 months free trial you can just click this basically you have to try to log in with your uh, gmail and you need to give your valid uh, credit or debit card details so and um, anyway they'll not charge until like you crossed uh, i mean you reached one year so this is the best one when you continue and uh, it asks you to log in and then you have to fill a simple form with the credit card information once uh, once you got uh, logged in you will see this kind of interface and you can see the billing and with the uh, $300 credit yep so this is what uh, I, I can use the service for uh, till next year with a $300 credit I tried some instances that's why it's yeah let's getting started uh, with uh, creating instance uh, now you'll see the menu and that you go to the compute engine and try to click the VM instances. Yep, let's create an instance. Uh, and here you have to give your instance name. So I'm giving here is a demo instance. And then you can choose whatever region you want. Like there are a lot of regions and it will not, not be different. And there are like types of uh, boxes available. Like basically if you don't want to waste much money, if it is a simple project you can go for this small one but this is a shared core but i would suggest try with this it is a 3.75 gb memory so click that and uh, and then come here like you can choose your uh, operating system here like google is offering a lot of uh, you know linux based uh, operating systems i usually uh, use ubuntu because this ubuntu is most popular i'll try to choose the latest one or if you are, uh, you know, the standard versions is like 18. Uh, if you want, you can try that, but yeah. So basically it comes with uh, basic 10 GB boot drive and uh, you will get some storage with the 250 gig as to like, you know, I think 500 gig. So I'm just selecting that. And then uh, we need to allow the firewall for HTTP and HTTPS. And one more thing, I'll explain how to create this firewalls if you want, if you want to work with the different ports like readers or memcache. So most of them are internal, but if you want to open it for public, then you need to work with security groups that I'll cover later. So yeah, just click the create button and this will take a couple of minutes to uh, setting up all the things. Yeah, it came up. Uh, and if you see it, there is an external URL. Uh, you can directly access this. Uh, to see this is your endpoint to connect the box and the problem with this uh, when you create an instance uh, this is basically a dynamic uh, IP so whenever you restart this mission uh, this is going to change so and Google is offering a and basically Amazon is offering an elastic IP but here they call it as external IP there is a simple change Go to networking and uh, you have to reserve that IP that uh, you're going to use it for future. So these are, uh, go to networking and uh, go to UPC network and external IP addresses. And you will see this, this is, you have to change it to the static. So, and you can give your uh, IP address name like demo instance IP for like, you know, uh, for the reference. And this is also take a couple of minutes and it picks up the latest uh, instance. Uh, if you have multiple instances, like 
it you will get an option here to choose which instance you want to connect sometime it automatically takes because it anyway related to and this is done but this is if you see it this is a premium one so they charge for this and uh, i mean anyway you got the 300 credit from that they'll charge so make sure like you have to keep an eye on the billing uh, and if you stop the instance as well they charge more basically you are not using it you just did the same thing for uh, amazon if you are using it they're not charge anything so this is up now and if you see here uh, if you look at this uh, this site can't be reachable but we need to check is it really connecting or not so we need to install a, a XAMPP uh, server like if you come here like uh, there is a step to install a server basically you will get this from the XAMPP go to the XAMPP it is a most popular PHP server and you will get the download instructions here for Ubuntu or else you can just follow this I am trying to install the latest uh, I mean the standard one at 7.2 I think now it's 8.0 came up uh, I try to recommend like use the standard ones uh, now how to connect the box uh, it's a pretty simple one like uh, you no need to download any uh, you know PEM file or PPK file for the SSH connectivity the Google is offering a very uh, elegant way you can just click on this the terminal open in the browser itself no username no password this automatically it's more secure way to connect yep uh, the box is ready if you see it nothing is there uh, let me create a directory for downloads let me so CD downloads uh, let me download the XM server yep uh, now if you see this like the package has been installed uh, before that like the image like you know maybe updated uh, you need to pull the Ubuntu like updates like you can give like apt get updates so this automatically I think you have to give apt get yeah I just uh, we need to give the sudo command because it's always things to write all the stuff so basically it pulls up the latest packages and uh, it uh, you know up to date with the operating system and now uh, there is a small command to uh, execute the exam basically it's I'm extracting this uh, with this command and then like you can install it and there are a few steps to follow and uh, you need developer files and is this correct yes and uh, Yes, you can do continue and ready to install. So basically, exams comes with you know on the Apache and the Maria DB and PHP. The exam has been installed, and uh, you can start the exam server by like you can just type opt. Basically, it'll be exam got installed on the opt lamp project. If you see here. Uh, you need to see the HD docs uh, here you have to copy all your uh, here you have to copy all your projects uh, but anyway if you want to start the project like OPD lamp and the lamp yeah for uh, uh, starting the server like you can give sudo opt lamp and the lamp start yes uh, if you look at this starting Apache and starting MySQL uh, basically the time is MySQL but you will see the Maria DB. It's uh, I don't know why they maintain different names here. And yeah, some other uh, FTP server got started. Now we'll try to hit the IP address, and we'll see. You'll find C uh, loading now. And if you want, like you can test a simple one. Uh, like go to here and uh, let's go to CDOPT lamp and. HD docs and if you want you can introduce one file called index.html if you look at this uh, we don't have a permissions for this so let's go back and we'll give some permissions uh, here like let me come back and uh, sudo and chmod uh, I'm just giving triple seven for now uh, to HD docs
you look at now you see the green selector one which means it's readable format now so go to HD docs and let's create index dot html and I am just give my demo server now escape wq so now it got saved if you see it so there is index.html so now come to this and try to hit the IP you'll see my demo server so now open this uh, if you have a GoDaddy or I use uh, Cloudflare uh, if you look at the nine lessons article for free HTTPS uh, cloud you will see this article uh, how to set up with a free cloud flare and if you have a domain like you can just change this IP with this uh, public IP so that way whenever you open the domain it directly comes here so yeah that is, that is pretty much so if you want to access the the XAMP one or try to give the PHP one if you see here uh, this is access forbidden and if you come here I written an article how to enable this uh, access forbidden uh, try to go and access this and you have to modify uh, I'm sorry yes try to come back uh, always use the sudo and uh, vi and if you see it here you will see the and try to modify this and uh, and when you restart that um, and then if you give the security option you have to perform these actions so that you will able to see the php my admin so i will try to give this link in the video so you can just follow this so that way you can set up the instance so yeah that's good and then come to the firewall rules uh, just come back for example when you go here and you can see the view details of your instance and you will find out all the information what kind of uh, uh, firewall rules got applied for protocol uh, you know like tcp https everything has got allowed if you are working with a different like any node server you want to open up something else then you come to the firewall rules from the network and VPC network and the firewall rules and you can create a new firewall rule and because that way like so my firewall always give this lowercase my demo firewall and give some description and uh, and you have to give everything and target tags like this tag is very important uh, I will I suggest to use the same one here because this is the reference for this and then basically the IP address is if you want to block specific range when you are working for a company like you have specific range to open this firewall but basically if you are working for a public project like it's a consumer project you need to open for everyone and then like if you want you can add a different options here or if you want you can allow you want to specifically open anything like you know for example 90 or like 100 or like 3000 so whatever uh, it, it depends on your project then you can create it up so this will take some time and once this got created come back to your instance here yep, the rule got created and now come back to your uh, now come back to the instance and uh, VM instant details click on that so you will see the VM instant details page yep and then come down and see there are tags here like if you want you can edit here and then like you can add the tag so this way you can add the tag so all the ports will open and if you click save so this tag also it enables so basically for ip range and all you can create your own uh, firewall here so that's the creating instant setup and if you are not using this uh, then you try to select and stop it uh, or else like it's wasting of money like that's what i would suggest and uh, 
keep an eye on this building always like uh, maybe sometime you you may don't know to uh, what are the services you enabling it and i was using last three four days and it pretty much charged from five dollar because i'm using little large instance yeah that's it uh thanks for watching the video